Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints we're talking about something really interesting, something I'm sure that many people here in the state of Missouri don't know we have and me as one of them I didn't know really necessarily we did too. Talking sand prairies and believe it or not this is something you would think you would see out in the western states or maybe at uh, maybe a dune or somewhere around a beach or something like that but we have them here in and Missouri and I'm actually very grateful because I'm on a sand prairie in southeast Missouri and I'm going to be joined by Austin Dixon and Austin's going to tell us all about the sand prairie and why it's so important and so special to southeast Missouri. Let me turn this around let's talk with Austin. All right Austin we can see this sand prairie very this is really really cool. Um, tell us about this. I mean this is a unique place, a unique opportunity to talk about this in Habitat Hints. First and foremost, let's start with, tell us how do we, why, why is there a sand prairie here in the middle of southeast Missouri and we're just, we're just trying to walk, it's here. I don't even know where to start. So tell us, tell us about this sand prairie. Yeah, so we have about 12 or 13 privately owned sand prairies down here that we help landowners manage. This one and most of them are along a formation that's called the Sykeston Ridge. It's a higher ground with sand deposits that was formed historically by um, the Mississippi River moving, um, changing locations, and there is a ridge that runs from New Madrid County up through Scott County alongside Sykeston that a lot of these sand prairies are on, and this is home to uh, species of conservation concern and rare species, amphibians, reptiles, grasses, uh, birds. It's just got a wide variety of really cool species that we only find on these sand prairies and uh, like I said they're privately owned and we've been very grateful to work with these landowners and uh, conserve them and manage them for uh, wildlife. Now how do you manage the sand prairie uh, to keep it the way it is and and for good habitat? Yep so these prairies are on a three or four burn road three or four year burn rotation uh, to kind of reset the vegetation. And this year we had a, a new contract. We actually were able to work with the landowners and hire a drone contractor who came in and was able to spray woody encroachment, sumac and smaller trees coming up. Uh, they had really exploded in the last couple of years with the droughty conditions we've been experiencing and the drones are able to take out a lot more acres in very little time and so we were really pleased with the results of that. We've really seen a good bounce back of the native vegetation we're looking for out here. Awesome, awesome. And now, you know, we're talking about these sand prairie areas. Um, is This is just pretty, is this something most people know about down here in southeast Missouri or is this something that you feel like, you know, is, is kind of a big deal? I. I don't think it's all that well known. I think people are very aware of the Sykeston Ridge and the sandy soils, but these sand prairies and the conservation ground that we're able to work with, I think are kind of a, a hidden secret, a hidden gem, if we can call it that. Awesome, awesome. So I know we're on private, <clears throat> we, get, we get on private property a lot, like you said, to go see some of these. Are there any open to the public on conservation area that people could actually come visit, come see, come check out for themselves? Yes. Uh, we have Sand Prairie Conservation Area off of uh, Highway 77 up in Benton, Missouri that is open to the public. It's around 200 acres or so and you'll find the exact same habitat up there as you will here and anyone can go out there and view wildlife, quail hunt, so awesome. that is open to the public. Good deal. Thank you so much, Austin. And again, I thank everyone for tuning in today. This is such a really cool opportunity, something really neat to see. The Sand Prairie, it's gorgeous. Um, it's a great place to go check it out. I mean, um, again, I want to echo what he said. If you want to learn more about sand prairies in the state of Missouri, get on our website at mdc.mo.gov and search sand prairies. Thanks for tuning in today. You will have a great rest of the day.